Good morning all. Today an important topic we'll see minor disorder in pregnancy, minor problems or discomfort during pregnancy. Uh, this problems uh, doesn't get any health effect for the women but they will get discomfort. This endangers the women uh, during the pregnancy. So what is the major uh, reason? Uh, minor problems of uh, pregnancy is due to hormonal changes, metabolic changes, accommodation changes, postural changes and uh, due to the growth and development of the fetus during pregnancy. Once the mother accepts, this is the uh, reason of uh, changes during pregnancy, she can cope up and any risk factor is there, she can go and visit the hospital, meet the physician. So as a nurse, our aim to understand, make understand about the minor problems in pregnancy and teach the women how to cope up and reassure the pregnant women. So, these uh, problems can happen in different systems of human body of pregnant period. So, first we will see gastrointestinal tract. In the gastrointestinal tract system, first one is uh, nausea and vomiting. This is otherwise known as morning sickness. So, morning sickness, when the woman get up early in the bed, she can go with uh, vomiting and uh, nausea and vomiting. The 50 percentage of the cases, the woman can go with uh, morning sickness. So, what is the major reason for that? Uh, uh, due to the hormone known as HCG or the progesterone hormone or uh, emptying of the stomach or starvation uh, due to the night fasting, they can go with hypoglycemic effect. This can be happen in the early trimester, mainly 6 to 8 weeks until the 12th week of gestation. Then later period, it can vanish or some women it can be present. So what the advices we can give? We can give the women uh, to... Uh, immediately after get up, uh, uh, she can go with uh, some crackles like uh, biscuits or rusk. And uh, she should not go with uh, brushing the teeth and she can avoid the fatty and spicy food and some relaxation techniques and all she can follow. And uh, she can take an adequate rest. So these are the measures. Second one is uh, excessive salivation that is known as stylism. Stylism, uh, stylism occurs during pregnancy and uh, when uh, she delivers the baby, the problem will be uh, overcome. So she doesn't need to get uh, worried because uh, this will happen during the pregnancy, much not harm for the fetus or the pregnant women. Mainly of unknown causes or due to some uh, increased intake of uh, starch or carbohydrates, so she can avoid that uh, diet modifications can be done. Third one is pica. Pica uh, craving for unnatural uh, substances uh, like uh, 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 chalk pieces or coal or ice like that. So we can advise the women uh, these substances, uh, non-nutritious food that can harm the fetus and she can uh, recognize early and she can avoid it. And uh, fourth one is heartburn. Heartburn is known as pyrosis. This heartburn is a result as a uh, hormone known as progesterone. This will relaxes the cardiac spinner and delayed emptying of the st uh, stomach and uh, decreases the intestinal uh, movement. And uh, reflex, uh, esophageal reflex can happen and uh, irritation in the esophagus can occur. So what advices we can give? We can ask the mother don't take a full amount of meal at a time. Uh, she can break down, uh, eat uh, small frequent meals, avoid the spicy and the gas forming uh, diet. And uh, immediately after food, no need to lie down in the bed and she can go with uh, mild uh, walking uh, or exercises. Uh, like that, we can advise the uh, uh, women. Uh, next uh, thing is uh, constipation. Constipation, it is a hardening of the stool. Uh, so, uh, women usually get this problem because of the hormone that is progesterone that will relax the intestinal mobility and the gravid uterus can lie on the intestine also. Uh, and uh, another one is uh, taking of uh, iron supplement during pregnancy. This will cause uh, increased absorption of water in the intestine uh, and the hardening of the stool can happen. Intervention means uh, regular bubble uh, habits, regular bubble habits can be uh, taken and she can go with the warm uh, uh, flu, warm water intake and she can increase the roughage uh, uh, like uh, green leafy vegetables and fruits uh, in their diet they can uh, take and more amount of water can be uh, done for increases the peristaltic movement and mild exercises walking type uh, uh, she can do after the eating so this uh, can be done if the condition is uh, more progressive then she can visit the doctor for any laxatives or any enema uh, next uh, problem, this, these are the problems that comes under the gastrointestinal tract. 
So next we will see uh, reproductive system. So in the reproductive system, if you see, first one is uh, leukorrhea. Leukorrhea means vaginal discharge. So white uh, thin uh, mucus vaginal discharge will be there. So this uh, can not be irritable during pregnancy. So excessive discharge is there. The woman can go with uh, uh, cleaning the vaginal area uh, properly. Perennial uh, pad can be uh, kept. Uh, undergarments like cotton garments can be used and they can be uh, washed and dried it in the sunlight. And if you see the uh, discharges is more, uh, it is yellowish or greenish and foul smelling or it is getting puritis, itching to the vaginal region, redness, uh, then a stedema is there, uh, bleeding is there, then they have to conscious some infection is there and uh, uh, glucosuria uh, due to the diabetic risk can be noted and this can be advices that can be taken from the physician uh, for any metronidazole uh, cream or for uh, oral tablet, antifungal cream that can be used. Next one is Braxton Hicks contraction. So this Braxton Hicks contraction uh, mainly painless uh, um, infrequent contraction that happened uh, during the pregnancy mild contraction in later trimester third trimester if it is coming due to the uh, presence of uh, labor pain they can be noticed uh, un until and other than uh, no problem for the women we can reassure the women it is a normal physiological changes so she can take a rest uh, she can uh, go with mild exercise relaxation uh, techniques can be done and uh, third one is uh, breast tenderness pain on the breast so this mainly happen in the early trimester, first trimester and later trimester due to the hormonal estrogen and progesterone. So this uh, uh, mainly pain during a uh, pain in the breast area or tenderness in the breast area. So she can advise to wear the well supported bra and she can uh, clean the uh, nipple area in order to prevent the infections. Okay. So these are the uh, minor problems that comes under the reproductive system. Next we will see in the what are the minor problems that comes under the urinary system. First one is urgency and frequency of urination. So urgency and frequency of urination this happens in the first trimester and in the later trimester due to the compression of gravid uterus on the bladder and due to the hormone known as progesterone this will have the relaxation of the um, uh, bladder and uh, bladder capacity also will be reduced. So the woman will uh, feel like urgency for uh, uh, urination. So what advices or intervention ask the woman to take a less amount of uh, fluid in the evening time or before going for the bed she can take uh, avoid the uh, intake of fluid or the water and she can lie down in the uh, side of the bed if she is going for toilet uh, frequently and more uh, uh, is there she can use the uh, perennial pad also and uh, these are the measures uh, she can uh, do it and we can advise her delivery after the delivery the problem will be reduced and stress incontinence stress incontinence also uh, unknowingly the women will pass the urines. So same intervention can be followed and uh, we can advise the mother to use the Kegel exercise. This will uh, support uh, and uh, prevent the maturation and uh, it will uh, uh, bring the urinary meatus well controlled during the pregnancy period. So these are the uh, problems that comes under the urinary system. So next we will see respiratory system. In the respiratory system, first one is a shortness of the breath or dyspnea. So why the shortness of the breath or dyspnea mainly happens in the later trimester. Later means third trimester. So because of the growing uh, uh, fetus, the uterus size will be increases. This will pushes the diaphragm. The diaphragm will move upward and this will gives restless for the woman. So woman weight also will be increases. When she is standing or upright sitting position, she will get uh, uh, dyspnea. That is a difficulty in breathing. So we should uh, uh, first rule out she doesn't have any medical other problems. If any medical problem is there, she uh, uh, immediately she has to visit to the hospital and consultation from the obstetrician. Doesn't have any other problem. This is the physiological changes during pregnancy. So postural changes can be done and uh, she can uh, use the pillows uh, uh, while uh, lying down and uh, she can uh, uh, avoid overweight and she can avoid full meal. Uh, so she can take a very small frequent meals in order to get any uh, disturbances during uh, in, uh, per, uh, during sitting or uh, lying position. Supine position can be avoided. Powerless positions can be maintained. So next and uh, she, uh, she can go with adequate uh, rest also. In between resting period she can take in the third trimester. Then uh, uh, next one is nasal stiffness. Nasal stiffness is mainly due to the uh, hormonal changes. That is the uh, 
they will have the congestion in the uh, nasal uh, tissues. So this uh, will uh, get difficulty in the breathing. So here the women can use for any humidifier, any other nasal sprays, antihistamines can be awarded and they can consult the doctor if they have any allergic uh, reactions out there. So next we will go with the cardiovascular system. In the cardiovascular system, first condition is syncope, Keva syndrome. So partial uh, orthostatic hypotension, the women can get uh, when she is going with a prolonged standing or like that. The cold clammy skin or fainting attack can be happen for the women. So this is due to the pooling of uh, blood in the lower uh, extremities or uh, compression of the gravid uterus. So main intervention is advise the women to lie in the left lateral position and postural changes can be done and she can take adequate rest during the third trimester. And uh, next condition is fatigue. Fatigue uh, uh, happens uh, during the later trimester. Why? Because because of the growth of the fetus, increased uh, uh, blood flow to the uterus uh, uh, during the pregnancy period. Okay. So as a result, the women can get fatigue. Fatigue. Uh, uh, we have to um, uh, overcome, uh, rule out whether any cardiac complication is there. If no other uh, cardiac complication is there, we can advise the mother uh, because of the pregnancy. Uh, only reassure the mother can be done and she can go with adequate rest. She can uh, take uh, adequate fluids uh, and uh, uh, this can be done. Then the third one is headache. Uh, headache uh, severely due to the increased blood flow during the pregnancy period. So this time uh, we can advise the mother she can keep some ice cap or cold uh, cloth on the head and she can uh, uh, take an adequate rest uh, during the pregnancy period. And rule out headache is either from preeclampsia. So preeclampsia condition also the women can get headache. So BP is normal means headache doesn't have any problem during pregnancy. And uh, another uh, uh, conditions uh, that comes under uh, cardiovascular uh, system is uh, the women can uh, go with uh, already we discussed about uh, syncope, headache uh, and uh, 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 varicose vein. Varicose vein means uh, they can go with uh, enlargement of the veins. So this is due to the pooling of the blood. So this enlargement of the uh, veins, uh, any anywhere they can get. That is like a hemorrhoids they can get, leg veins they can get. So here uh, we can advise the mother to flex the uh, knees. They can uh, uh, up. They can uh, feet can be elevated and uh, this can uh, reduce the uh, pooling of the blood. And uh, stockings uh, can be. Uh, Put, uh, if they have tight uh, uh, com uh, compressive band uh, bandages that can be avoided. Then angle edema. So angle edema, this uh, retention of fluid as a result they can get angle edema, non-pitting edema. If overall bo body the edema is there then it is problematic. If angle edema is, does, uh, doesn't happen, this is due to the physiological effect during the pregnancy. So these are the major uh, uh, problems that comes under cardiovascular system. So next we will see musculoskeletal system. In the musculoskeletal system, uh, first one is backache. So backache mainly due to the uh, changes of postural changes. That is the lordosis. Lordosis happened during the pregnancy because of the growth of the fetus in the second and tri third tri trimester. So here pelvic girdle belt can be used. Uh, adequate firm mattress when they are lying down. Massaging can be done. Uh, frequent rest can be uh, given for the woman. Postural changes can be uh, done for the women. Then the next one is muscle cramps. Muscle cramps mainly due to the uh, muscles. Uh, uh, if you see the calcium deficiency or uh, they are having phosphorus more and vitamin B1 deficiency is there, they can go with the muscle cramps. So that can be identified as an intervention. Calcium supplement can be given. Vitamin B1 supplement can be given. Uh, uh, in the diet modification also they can take massaging can be done. Any pain relief medication is there, they can consult with the doctor and they can be taken. So next one is uh, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome that is the tingling and numbing sensation of the hand or edema of the hand due to the compression of the median nerve because of the uh, blood flow. So here what happened uh, uh, the women uh, we can advise the women to avoid the repeated movement of the hand any splint is there that can be used in the 
hand and uh, any operative procedure is there they can consult the obstetrician and according to that they can do it and physiotherapist can be also done and next one is round ligament pain majority of the women they can get round ligament pain by the uh, unilateral or bilateral mainly the pain will be happen in the groin region so this uh, we can rule out and uh, analgesic can be prevented and we can advise them after the delivery this can be overcome and the, some women they can go with insomnia, restless of sleep because of the gravity uterus, because of the bladder irritability, because of the fatigue. So we can advise this is a normal thing. So in uh, quickening of the uh, fetus, that is a fetal movement, normal physiological changes. So they can take an adequate rest and uh, sleep uh, and adequate uh, balance food and behavior modifications can be done. So these are the major minor problems or minor elements or minor discomfort that comes under the pregnancy. So some of the danger sign is there. If the fetal movement is not there, premature rupture of membrane is there, severe headache is there, sudden nausea vomiting, blood tained vomiting is there, contraction labor pain is there. So like that any uh, uh, blood vomiting is there. So like that any situation is there, they should not stay in the hospital. They can uh, come and visit to the uh, uh, they, they should not stay in home, they have to come to the hospital and they can get uh, guidance from the physician. So, I hope you have understood today the topic.